Hello guys, Gerundiv is Alpha, and I'm about to do an entire Animal Alley collection video to also with their names because I spent hours naming these guys. This is not an Animal Alley, obviously. He's my favorite. How do you like his little um, bandana? So anyway, for the ones that have just been named, I even gave them little tag collars so I would not forget because trust me, those... Chess puppies are very hard to remember their names, too. So, this is literally everyone. There are 85 Animal Alleys, Kits Preferred, or Toys R Us branded stuffed animals in this pile. And I'm not kidding when I say I have literally named every single one of them and made sure they aren't all dopey names either. I literally spent time trying to name these guys. Anyway, and some of them are actually named after celebrities that I really like. So, I was like, sure, let's go ahead and do that. So, I don't know where to start. Let's start with Matthew, obviously, because he's my favorite. I'm going to get him out for you. Matthew. Everyone knows he's my, my favorite. He's my Animal Alley 24-inch tiger. I'll also give you the names and the sizes of these guys. He is regular. He's not Commonwealth. Um, and he's completely and totally my favorite. Everybody knows that. I've literally had him and Justin as my mascot since I started Instagram. And I love him to death. He is... By the way, let me clarify right off the bat, none of these are for sale. I'm very, very stingy when it comes to animal alleys, and I don't like sharing them at all. My dog's right there, and I almost stepped on him, like twice already. How do you like that? Anyway, yeah, none of these are for sale. Please don't ask. <laughs> uh, anyway, I'm not being stingy, and I make sure that everybody gets their chance to have one, but I do like them. And if I find duplicates of expensive ones, yes, I will sell them. But let, let me say they're for sale. Don't say, I don't ask me if they're for sale. Because I will have a hard time selling them because I feel like they were, they, that I owe them or something. Anyway, I'm going to pick this little guy up. He's, his name's Kayan. He is the kids prefer. Very, very small. I would say about eight inches or so, maybe less. Uh, kitten. I don't. He looks like a Siamese to me. I have a couple Siamese, and he's really cute. Um, he's one I picked up at the Goodwill or the thrift store, and uh, he's one of my, one of the ones I really like, even though he's small. I'm gonna pick up another small one. This is a cute one. I never seen it before, except for when I got her, and I named her Pepper. I like that little Pepper, the boxer. She's also about five inches, I would say, and I don't know where she comes from or anything like that or if she's supposed to have a, a mom with her or anything but she's really cute so i named her pepper this is sean and i've also got alaya from uh good doctor my boyfriend named these guys because i said you gotta name some of them and he's he was helping me name them anyway this is Leia right next to her him sorry this is also these two are kids preferred the small five inch dogs this is a wee mirror, I think his name is. And this is like a, um, I think it's an Irish setter, to be perfectly honest. So anyway, brown dogs. Real cute. I'll pick up this one next. This is Mint. I'll try to remember their names without having to look at the tags, but the tags are there just in case I forget, so I don't have to look like an idiot trying to remember what the names are. Pretty sure this is Commonwealth. Uh, I can't tell. Hang on. Nope, not Commonwealth, just, uh, I don't know exactly, but you can see that she's really, really short. <coughs> Sorry. Um, she's really short, and she's just, I guess she's a snow leopard, but she's really cute. I tried to sell her a couple times. This one was one that was actually for sale for a while, and I decided to keep her. Uh, so, yep, there is, uh, Mint. So I gave her a name, and I put her in my collection. I got another one coming, Basil. This is Basil and my Siamese cats. Oh, by the way, I think that Mint is probably... Oh, I... Good God. Um, I'll say she's like nine inches, I would say. Anyway, this is one of my Siamese cats. He's really floppy. His name is Basil, and he's really cute. He's about signature size, so nine inches-ish. Really cute, adorable. Anyway, there you go. This is Rook, one of my... Uh, my um chess puppies he's i think this is actually the she yeah this is the she 
and she's also Animal Alley, but as you can see, no tag, missing a tag, but you can definitely tell it's Animal Alley. So, here she is, she's adorable, she's one of my chess puppies, as I said before. All the chess puppies have chess-related names. This is Skittle. Skittle is also a chess-related name. name. It's, um, when you have a friendly game together. This is Chainsaw from Good Time Charlie. I think it's, yeah, Good Time Charlie. Um, and he's really cute. He's my Jack Russell. Oh, by the way, the dogs are about 15 inches-ish, and Skittle's about 9 inches, letting you know. Sorry about that. Uh, this is, uh, the Jack Russell. He's very, he's one of the harder ones to get, but I was able to get mine for about 8 on, uh, Facebook Market. So, uh, he's a really cool one. I really like him. Anyway, Chainsaw. Because there was a uh, Jack Russell that's name is Chainsaw, and I kept it going because he's really adorable, and I love him, and I like that character. But yeah, there's Chainsaw. This is Castle, another chess puppy. This is my only brown dog chess puppy. I got it from, you know, his tag is pretty, or her tag's pretty bit beat up, but uh, I got it from a uh, Communikins in a trade, one of my first trades ever. Um, and I really like her. And I remember her name, but I was giving a lot of them tags like this, so that, um, because the dogs, the chess puppies, are almost impossible to remember the names for. Because they all almost look the same. I mean, they all get different features, but it's hard to remember. This is Passet, or N. Passet. I forgot what that means. I'm sorry. He's also Animal Alley. We'll make him a him. Yeah, this will be a him. And he's really cute. And he's my newest chess puppy that I got yesterday. I remember, because this is, he had a cute little face. This one is Blitz. He's one of my boys. One of the chess puppies. And he's really cute. And these are all 15 inches almost. This is, I believe, this is Kids Preferred. And it's kind of a cute one. It's like this really tannish color. It's really pretty, actually. And I called her Decoy. Another chess-related name. And I thought that was kind of a cute name. And she's got a little tear here that needs to be fixed. So we'll be fixing her soon, but I haven't fixed her yet. Oh, this is, oh yeah, Gambit, and uh, that's uh, usually when you trick your opponent into thinking you're, sac like, for instance, sacrificing a pawn or something, but you're tricking him in the, in the process. So anyway, Gambit, um, he's kind of cute. He's got floppy ears. He needs to get so his ears so down. No tag. Again, 15 inches. Uh, check. This is my boyfriend's only one he named. He's got a full tag. He's really cute. Um, and he's one of the first pup pup chess puppies I named. And then I decided, you know what, let's go ahead and name them all chess. And they're related names. This is Pawn. He's kind of the beat up one. I'm sorry, buddy. Uh, his tag's pretty beat up too. His face is also a little bit down a little bit. So, um, But he's really cute at the same time. So his name is Pawn. It was not named... Out of favorites or anything, except for Bishop and Check. Those two were named as favorites. <coughs> I'm sorry, guys. Anyway, that's Pawn. Here's my favorite, Bishop. She's my favorite, and I just love her little fluffy ears. She just looks all girly and pretty. And, uh, yeah, she's got a pretty beat-up tag, but she's adorable. And this little thing right here was given to me by my young youngest brother. And I decided to put it on her because she's my favorite dog, and I thought that would be very special. So, there you go. Now his, now it's being used, so it doesn't just uh, go to waste. It was a gift, it was a birthday present, I was like, I want to put it on something that was special, and this is Bishop, and she's special. Alright, I got here, I think I went, did I go there on the chest puppies? No, I did not. Hang on, I'm not done with the chest puppies yet. This is Knight, he's one of my boy puppies. He doesn't have a tag, but he's Animal Alley, he's also 15 inches, and he's adorable. This is also Skewer. It's another name, real chess related name. He's actually Kit's Preferred. I got him in a trade slash um, purchase from my friend Stacy, I think that's her name. Yeah, Stacy. Anyway, so she put him in there as like a gift type thing, and I got him. So he's pretty. Uh, I also got this one for Stacy, since we're on to state when we're talking about Stacy. And I named her Aquarius, and she's one of my favorite puppies. And she's also Kids Prefer. She's the smallest Kids Prefer to Husky, and I had to have her. So here you go. She's really cute. She needs a black nose, though. Uh, this is Rebel. He, she's one of my first uh, Toys R Us pups. And she's named after my um, character, Justin's dog. And he named, well, 
her her name was actually not going to be Rebel. It was going to be first it was Diva. Her fr his friend Tony named her Diva, and then he was going to name her Catalyst, but that didn't work out. So then they ended up all naming her Rebel because she was a Rebel when she was a puppy, and she never really changed. She's cute though. Anyway, this is not a real story either. This is Celeste, my newest husky pup. She's the tiny five inch, and or yeah, no, I'm sorry, nine inch, I would say. And she's really cute, and her brother is in here somewhere. Here he is, and Pisces. So Pisces and Celeste, and then of course you guys know Odyssey, so I wanted to keep their names kind of similar, but at the same time they're not, because Celeste means heavenly body. Pisces means, um, obviously it's the zodiac sign, and then Odyssey is, uh, I can just show the Odyssey, why don't I? I was gonna leave him one of the last, but anyway, Odyssey, he's one of my top favorites. I paid a hundred dollars for him to finally get one. And I am so excited to have him finally. He is absolutely beautiful. And his name is Odyssey. And it took him forever to name the name. But I was thinking, well, his name is Journey. We're talking about Heavenly Bodies, Celeste, and then Pisces. And I was like, those are perfect names together to be siblings. Anyway, I'm going to put them off to the side. There they go. Bye. All right, we're going to do the cats. Nutmeg. This is Toys R Us. Toys R Us again. Uh, Sage. Oh, we'll just do him. I, okay, I'm gonna leave those. Hang on. And then I got dill. Sorry, these are all related to spices. That was the idea. To name them all after spices. Coriander. <laughs> I'm not kidding. Coriander, dill, um, sage. And those are all Toys R Us except for, I believe this is, this is Animal Alley, actually. This is Animal Alley, but he doesn't. Yes, he does. He has a tag. Yeah, he's the 2007 Animal Alley, my bad. Anyway, this is, uh, Coriander's it's cute. And then those other cats are also Toys R Us. And then, I got more cats for you. I've got Anise, pretty name. Snowball, but it's only because I have Snowball here and I have Bigger Snowball in here too. I'll show you those two. But these are both Snowball because it's named after Matthew's cat. And I was like, oh, these both look like Snowball. So let's go ahead and name them Little Snowball when he's a baby and Big Snowball when he's an adult. There you go. Also, look at his little heart nose. How cute is that? I love these. Anyway, this is actually Commonwealth. It's actually the 17-inch. But uh, the Commonwealth, the Animal Alley cat. And this is Toys R Us slash Animal Alley. And he's the smaller one. He's really cute. Anyway, those two. I don't think I named that one. Hang on, I gotta find more. Did I go through all my herb and spice cats? Oh, sorry, pumpkin spice. He, she, it's either he or she. I haven't really decided on the gender yet. Uh, I was going to make it a him because, well, yeah, I could name him a him. Anyway, he is also Commonwealth Animal Alley. And he's the same thing as Snowball, basically. And he's just a different version of him. They both have these really cute collars. Anyway, there you go. And I um, think we went through all the cats that have spice names. Yay! Okay, so this is special. His name is Kenny Rogers. And then, okay, here we go. I've got Dolly Parton. Not kidding. So I wanted to do, like, a thing with them, but I wanted to give Kenny Rogers a nice animal because, well, in loving the memory of him, he's one of my favorite uh, uh, country singers. And then, I went ahead, since I have this one too, I named him, and this is a mouthful, I named him Carl Thomas Dean, or Dean, because that's her husband of 54 years, I think, and I thought, that's cute, let's name them, let's put them together as a couple, and this will be Dolly and Dean. I'm going to say Dean because his gosh darn name is so long. Anyway, Dean is for short, but there's Kenny Rogers too. So I put those three, I named them all together, and those are my celebrity stuffed animals. Alright, this is Zero, and she's one of my newest one. I just got to meet her yesterday, and she's Animal Alley, the 2017 version. One of the last ones they actually did make. I love her to death, she's adorable. And she's my only German Shepherd female um, that, well actually no, that's not true. But she's my other German female because I named... Oh gosh, darn it, what's your name? Your name is... I named him Gemini. So I have quite a few 
Zodiac puppies coming up. I'm showing you those guys, but they're all named after the Zodiac. So I've got 12 Zodiac puppies. All right, let's put zero and let's put Gemini away. All right, I got Cancer here. I'm starting to remember their names now. Haven't you noticed that I just grabbed it? Anyway, this is Cancer. I think she's a female, but she's my little beagle. And I keep forgetting to tell you what the, 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 the sizes these guys are. Oh, by the way, that husky is 24 inches. I finally got the big 24 inch husky, but I think you guys could tell. Anyway, I got her. She's about, oh, I want to say 12 inches or so. And then I have Leo. This is a weird one. This is a cool one, actually. It's Animal Alley. But I'm pretty sure, darn sure, by the tag, if I can focus it. Gosh darn tag. Doesn't want to focus. No, yeah. But anyway, it's got all characters, Chinese characters, which means that it's probably either a Japanese or Mandarin, I'm sorry. It's either Japanese or it's Chinese, so that means that this is an original from a different country. So he's really cute, and his name is Leo, and he's one of my puppies, and he's adorable. I think that most of my um, Rottweilers are actually all male. Alright, hang on, let me find some more puppy, chest puppy, or no, sorry, Zodiac puppies now. Uh, this is, uh, Sagittarius. He's one of, he's my Sharpay. He's really, really, really cute, actually, for a Sharpay, that is. Um, so this is Sagittarius. He's another, um, 12 inch, I believe. Um, this is, uh, Taurus. Here's Taurus. He's one, he's Rebel's brother, but he's really, really, really cute and floppy. A lot more floppy than she is. I might have to make this two things. And I've got, oh, here's another one. Scorpio. Here's Scorpio. He's a boy. And this is my Toys R Us. What year are you? 2012 Husky. He's really cute. Anyway, got another one coming up. I have Libra, I believe. Libra, yes. Libra. He's my little chihuahua, and he's adorable, and I love him, honestly. I just love Animal Alley in general, so I will literally get any Animal Alley I find, even if it's a chihuahua, and I don't particularly like chihuahuas. But here you go, he's Libra, and he's the balanced puppy, and he's cute. Anyway, sorry Libra. Do, 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 do. And here's my collie, my little collie. It's Gemini. No, Gemini, not Gemini. I'm sorry. Why did I say Gemini? What does it say? Capricorn. I'm sorry. I already got Gemini. He was uh, the um, German Shepherd. Wow. Okay, this is Capricorn. She, it's my collie, and I believe he's a boy as well, and he's really cute. And I think we actually got through all the... Um... <laughs> yeah, I think we did. Yeah, really, I think we did. Okay, so, yeah, there you go. Then there's these adorable little, um, McDonald's pups. Tiny. I need a speckle. <laughs> and trickle. How do you like that? Sprinkle and trickle because they're tiny, tiny little guys. There they go. Anyway, this is, we were, we were gonna name them, uh, my boyfriend actually named these. He gave them the name Lone for Lone Wolf. And then Star because Texas. How cute is that? And that's one of my favorite states because I just think it's so beautiful when we went through it. And I thought, okay, Lone and Star. Those are good names. So those are Lone and Star. Here is Tokyo and her and his siblings. Here's his siblings. He ha And I have Embers. And these are all related to Owl City names. You'll hear a couple Owl City names. But here's Firebird, Embers. And Tokyo. How do you like that? They are all Owl City. I was going to name him Adam, but then I was like, I think Tokyo works better for him. So there you go. Those are, this is the 17 inch. Those are the 10 inch. I got Scout. I know that's a common name, but I just had to name him Scout. He just looked like a Scout to me. He is the older, much older uh, Dalmatian. I got him in a trade and I couldn't be happier with him because I actually got the bigger, not the bigger, but the oldest one. And I was so excited to have him because they are so darn rare to get. But anyway, there is a Scout and Bailey. I'll do ban Banner, her boyfriend. I have the small, the very, very small uh, Golden Retriever. And here's Banner, her boyfriend. And the and the 18-inch uh, Bernice Mountain Dog. So 18-inch and, well, technically 17-inch because she's a long miss. But she's really just the 12-inch, um, the unfortunately. So, yep, there you go. Those two, here you get her. This is Junebug, because <laughs> look at her little 
her little uh, butterfly. So I thought, oh, that's so cute. So I named it June and then Bug. And Animal Alley, puppy. Really cute. I don't know what it's called. I don't normally keep things like this, but it's Animal Alley, so I gotta keep it. Alright. And then I have Naz. Naz is one of my first Animal Alleys. He does not have his tag, but I think we can tell he's actually Animal Alley. He's my 18-inch. We're getting to the 18 inches now. I know I'm missing a few, but I mean, I'm, I'm, I mean, not missing a few in this video, but I mean, I have few non-18 inches at this point in time, but uh, yeah. This is Luxus, named after Fairy Tale, because, well, you'll see that a lot of my, um... Rottweilers were named after cool things like lightning and everything because I've got loose over there. Uh, and my boyfriend wanted to name it Loxus because he likes fairy tale and so do I. And we thought, oh, this would be a good Loxus. So here you go, Loxus. He's the lightning dog. Put Naz away for you. This is Clover. It'll probably be a girl. I'll make both of them girls. Um, she's really cute. She's Toys R Us brand, I believe. I don't think she's Animal Alley at all. She might be. Um, it says the 2010, I think. Yeah, 2010 for her. And she's the 10 inch. She's very small. And she's like, um, she's like the same with her almost. Except for she is Animal Alley Lupin. Which, um, is the same size as Clover. I'll put Clover away. Lupin's my very first Animal Alley ever. She is so very special to me. Because she's the one that started the crazy Animal Alley craze of mine and made me obsessed with this brand. I loved this brand since I had her and I named her after a good dog book and the wolf's name was Lupin and I had to name her Lupin. So there you go. Fail. I have his mom over there. He doesn't have a tag because she he was attached to his mom. So he does not actually come with a tag which I think is interesting. My phone is not dead, but I'm going to have to plug it in so that uh, I don't lose you guys. Sorry, it's getting dark again. Yeah, I'm at 15% uh, 15, uh, 15 now. Sorry about that. I'm going to have to come over here and do the rest over here. Uh, so Vale, anyway. Vale's awesome. He's one of my favorites. Uh, because he's so cute, and I'm hoping to put back the timer. Yeah, I could turn it back on. I don't know how long it's going to let me do it for, but we'll see. Okay, then I've got this new one. We named it Cola. It's actually the Commonwealth Polar Bear. I got rid of my other polar bear, and I felt so bad about it because I really, really liked her. Her name is a kook, and, I, and he said, okay, name it Cola. I'm like, sure, let's name it Cola, and it'll be a boy. So, yeah. I know, that's common, but he said he wanted it, so we'll give him the name Cola, and he looks like a Cola anyway, so there you go. Cool, cool, cool. I have, oh, here's another chess puppy, or not a chess puppy, but the, um, Zodiac puppy, Aries. There's Aries, I named it originally Navajo, so I'm still getting used to that name, but uh, she's my other German Shepherd puppy. She's the 10-inch. And I have Kimberly here. I just kept her name Kimberly because she was cute. And it had a cute name. And there she is. She has a really nice tag too. And I absolutely love this one. It's my 18 inch. This is an interesting one. I actually got it and I was like I fell in love with it instantly. This is uh, Celts. I was going to say Celeste. Um, this is Celts uh, from Celtic culture or so. And um, yeah, she's my only unicorn... I have a horse up there, up in the attic, but I didn't get it down. I named him, oh, it's the Silver Brumby character, uh, Thaura, Thaura, Thaura is the name of it. It's a, it's a, it's a, 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 an Australian show, and it's really cute. But anyway, this is Kel, this is, sorry, Celts, and, uh, she's really cute, and I hope to get more friends for her so that I have a whole collection of them. Anyway. I have stalemate here. Oh, other so chess puppy. I forgot about him. I actually have a couple more, but they're bigger ones. This is also, I think it's like a 20 inch, I would say. It's pretty long. It's kids preferred, and he's adorable, and I love his little thing right here. It's adorable, too. I'm going to try to hit this in 30 minutes so that I don't have to do a part two, but that is probably, and that might not happen. Anyway, now we're getting down to the big ones. Wait, no, we got a couple more small ones. Come here. Anyway, I have here Ella. She's my kid's preferred. Um, she's about, I would say about 18, 20 inches. Um, she's really cute, and she's also really floppy, and I like her. And then she's got baby brother. Oh, here's the other chess puppy. Uh, or, 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 or
um, Zodiac Puppy. This is Virgo. And this is my dot my my boyfriend's uh, sign, so I gave him the name Virgo because that's his sign, and he this is his favorite one of his favorite puppies. And he said I can't paint his nose, that's why his nose ain't painted. Anyway, um, and then mine is actually a Aquarius Pisces cusp, so I gave my two huskies mine because I love both of them. And besides, uh, Justin is also Pisces, so there you go. Flying puppy! And goodbye, Ella. Alright, and I have here Madison. And she's at my other Animal Alley white baby tiger. And she's really cute. And she's my 18 inch. And she's adorable. I love her. Um, and here's Journey. She's very special. She's a gift from my, my friends, Emily, uh, Kimmy Neekins, I mean. And I love her to death. She's very, very sweet. And, uh, she's literally been a grail for a long time because I wanted the 18-inch, but, uh, for some reason it's so gosh darn hard to get the 18-inch. But she's really, 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 really floppy, and I love her so much, and she's so cute. Anyway. Oh, here comes another one. I'm sorry, I'm pulling his hair. This is Viking. I'm gonna name him Stripes because I just didn't want anything common. And since his, uh, girlfriend is Celts, I was like, let's name him Viking, because Celtic culture, there you go. So Viking sounds pretty cool too, so that's why his name is Viking. And he's really cute, and I really like him, and I hope to get more of him, these guys, because actually the zebra is pretty darn cute, actually. So there you go. Do, 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 do. I can't reach over there. Hang on. Putting it down for a minute. I can't reach, guys. Where's my dog? My dog's over in the stuffed animals. I think he's buried. Buddy! Oh, I found him. There he is. Alright, here's Andy. He's, she was actually a trade gift slight thing. Oh, he's gonna come up here now because he's like, there's room now! But anyway, this is a gift slash trade thing from my friend. Um, her name is Wolf Lover Colorado, I believe. Um... Anyway, I really like her. She's one of my favorites. She's actually Commonwealth, I would say 20 inch, 18 inch, 20 inch, and we named it Andy because she gave me Andy's in the, as a gift, also in the package as like candies. And I was like, let's name it Andy and make it a girl because he wanted to be a girl in the first place and Andy's is a pretty, is Andy is a cute name. So yeah, Andy, there she goes. And then this is Sangha. I don't have Kumal yet. We know we've already gone through this conversation. It's the 18 inch. All right. Here comes the big, <coughs> big 24 inches. The ones I love so much, although I love all of them. And I already put Matthew over there, so he's not part of this uh, collection because he's the first one I grabbed. Alright, here's Lassie. I know, Lassie, of course. Lassie, 24 inch. The giant one. I love her to death. She's so cute. I hope one day to get a 32 inch of her if there are, if there are any in existence. I got Alexandra. She's my 24 inch tiger. And I've got Harmony, my Commonwealth 24-inch, 26-inch tiger. I've got Roxanne and my 24-inch Rottweiler. I've got King, my 27-inch-ish, and he's kids preferred, and he's adorable, and his ears flop. And I'm like, oh my god, how much more cute can you get? Anyway, I've got, uh, this is Queen, and she's my 26-inch um, uh, Kids Preferred as well. She's really cute. I've got Mr. Rigel over here. He's my 24-inch, uh, teenage lion cub. He does not come with a tag, but I knew that when I got him, and he's really cute, and I love him. I hope to one day give him a tag. And then, my big five, my giants. This is Zeus. He is 36 inches long. He's adorable. He's actually my boyfriend's top favorite. And then I've got Wraith. He is my commonwealth, my only commonwealth. He's my big panther, my 36 inch panther. And then I've got Tiger Lily or L Lily, my giant animal alley. And you guys know I did not mean to get this one and she, these guys are heavy. These guys are about five pounds each. So that together they're about 25 pounds each. All right. Here she is. She's one of my newest ones. I got her at Goodwill the other day, and she was literally dirt. She was dirty completely. All right. And she, her name is Persephone, after the Greek goddess of spring. And then 
Here he comes, the last one. These are all 36 inch. This is Hades. He is my 36 inch dog and they are mates and that is adorable. That is everybody. I have just gone through 85 animal alleys today and I've gotten through every single one and they are all right here. I love my big five. I, I honestly love them to death. They are the best things, honestly. I love the 36 inches. I don't have any 42 inches right now, but honestly, seeing the size of, of these 36 inches, I really just don't want that entire, that entire ginormous size. These are already huge and they're so heavy and I don't even want to think about how heavy the actual 42 inches are if these guys weigh five pounds by themselves. These are crazy heavy, and she also needs to have a lot of stuffing. But yeah, this is my entire collection of Animal Alley. 85 animals total. I love them all, and they have all been given names finally, and I, it makes them feel like they're actually home when I give them their names and make sure that they all got names and they're all special and all. I don't know where your boyfriend is, Justin. I'm gonna get him out if I can find him real quick. Oh goodness, and try not to tear anyone's tags. I'll also get Odyssey out. Odyssey is one of my top favorites as well. Odyssey has been one I wanted for 10 years. I'm not exaggerating. I wish that was not true because that's a long time to want something. I can't seem to find- There he is! Found him! He's all uh, dug under here. Anyway, my 24 inch tiger. I love him to death. These are probably my top favorite in the whole world right here. I've got Odyssey, I've got Matthew, and i got Justin. They are- Oh my god, I've wanted this one for so long. And I loved him probably since I got him, but he just didn't have a name right away. But I loved this white tiger. I was so happy to have this white tiger. This collection is one of my favorite things in the whole world. I have worked tirelessly to make this collection happen, and it has not happened overnight. It has been a three-year journey to get to even get to 85, or even get this one, this really rare one. My next goal is to try to get the fox, but I don't want it as much, so I won't be paying crazy amount of numbers for it. If I find it for like 30 bucks, I will get it. If I can't find it for less than that, I won't get it. I'm not that crazy in love with it as I'm in love with this one. Anyway, 32 minutes. Pretty good, actually, to finish an entire video in 32 minutes. My phone almost died again. Anyway, I'm going to come back over here. And anyway, I just wanted to make this video very, very special and make sure that it got the, it got the recognition that it needed because... I love every single one of these stuffed animals and they mean the world to me and I just wanted to make this video one of the best I've ever had because they are all Animal Alley and it's a collection that I've been working on. It's my heart and soul, honestly. If people ask me what my favorite brand is, oh my god, it would be Animal Alley, hands down. I love World of Wildlife Fun, don't get me wrong, but there's something about Animal Alley that just gets me so excited to even get a tiny little a two inch stuffed animal i get so excited to find it from a tiny two inch stuffed animal to a ginormous 36 inch stuffed animal i will literally get excited for every single one that i find it has that special tag i don't know why that sp that tag was so special to me but it just is i just love it to death it's so pretty i love how beautiful it looks and i just love animal alley as a whole they are so special to me Anyway, I'm not going to make this video go longer than it has to, but that yeah, tag is right. This is one of the most beautiful tags I've ever seen created, especially for one brand. It's just really special to me, and these are very special to me. Anyway, yeah, I'm going to stop talking because 35 minutes is a long time for a video, and I don't even know if it's going to go. But anyway, yeah, that's my entire collection of Animal Alleys. Again, none of them are for sale. They never will be for sale because this is my heart and soul, like I said. And I'm going to go ahead and turn it off, guys, and thanks so much for watching. Bye.